Cesium or cesium is a chemical element with symbol C's and atomic number 55. It is a soft, silvery gold alkali metal with a melting point of 28 degrees Celsius, which makes it one of only five elemental metals that are liquid at or near room temperature. Cesium is an alkali metal and has physical and chemical properties similar to those of rubidium and potassium. The metal is extremely reactive and pyrophoric, reacting with water even at minus 116 degrees Celsius. It is the least electronegative element. It has only one stable isotope, cesium-133. Cesium is mined mostly from pellucite, while the radioisotopes, especially cesium-137, a fission product, are extracted from waste produced by nuclear reactors. The German chemist Robert Bunsen and physicist Gustav Kirchhoff discovered cesium in 1860 by the newly developed method of flame spectroscopy. The first small-scale applications for cesium were as of Geta, in vacuum tubes and in photoelectric cells. In 1967, based on Einstein defining the speed of light as the most constant dimension in the universe, the international system of units isolated two specific wave counts from an emission spectrum of cesium-133 to co-define the second and the meter. Since then, cesium has been widely used in highly accurate atomic clocks. Since the 1990s, the largest application of the element has been as cesium formate for drilling fluids. It has a range of applications in the production of electricity, in electronics, and in chemistry. The radioactive isotope cesium-137 has a half-life of about 30 years and is used in medical applications, industrial gauges, and hydrology. Although the element is only mildly toxic, it is a hazardous material is a metal and its radioisotopes present a high health risk if released into the environment. Characteristics Physical properties Cesium is a very soft, very ductile, pale metal, which darkens in the presence of trace amounts of oxygen. It has a melting point of 28.4 degrees Celsius, making it one of the few elemental metals that are liquid near room temperature. Mercury is the only elemental metal with a known melting point lower than cesium. In addition, the metal has a rather low boiling point, 641 degrees Celsius, the lowest of all metals other than mercury. Its compounds burn with a blue or violet color. Cesium forms alloys with the other alkali metals, as well as with gold, and amalgams with mercury. At temperatures below 650 degrees Celsius, it does not alloy with cobalt, iron, molybdenum, nickel, platinum, tantalum or tungsten. It forms well-defined intermetallic compounds with antimony, gallium, indium and thorium, which are photosensitive. It mixes with all the other alkali metals. The alloy with a molar distribution of 41% cesium, 47% potassium and 12% sodium has the lowest melting point of any known metal alloy, at minus 78 degrees Celsius. A few amalgams have been studied. CSHG2 is black with a purple metallic luster, while CSHG is golden colored, also with a metallic luster. Chemical properties Cesium metal is highly reactive and very pyrophoric. In addition to igniting spontaneously in air, it reacts explosively with water even at low temperatures, more so than other members of the first group of the periodic table. The reaction with solid water occurs at temperatures as low as minus 116 degrees Celsius. Because of its high reactivity, the metal is classified as a hazardous material. It is stored and shipped in dry saturated hydrocarbons, such as mineral oil. Similarly, it must be handled under inert gas, such as argon. However, a cesium water explosion is often less powerful than a sodium water explosion with a similar amount of sodium. This is because cesium explodes instantly upon contact with water, leaving little time for hydrogen to accumulate. Cesium can be stored in vacuum-sealed baurosilicate glass samples. In quantities of more than about 100 grams, cesium is shipped in hermetically sealed stainless steel containers. 
The chemistry of cesium is similar to that of other alkali metals, but is more closely similar to that of rubidium, the element above cesium in the periodic table. As expected for an alkali metal, its only common oxidation state is plus 1. Some small differences arise from the fact that it has a higher atomic mass and is more electropositive than other alkali metals. Cesium is the most electropositive chemical element. The cesium ion is also larger and less hard than those of the lighter alkali metals. Compounds The vast majority of cesium compounds contain the element as the cation Cs+, which binds ionically to a wide variety of anions. One noteworthy exception is provided by the chyside anion. Other exceptions include the several suboxides. Returning to more normal compounds, salts of Cs plus are almost invariably colorless unless the anion itself is colored. Many of the simple salts are hygroscopic, but less so than the corresponding salts of the lighter alkali metals. The phosphate, acetate, carbonate, halides, oxide, nitrate, and sulfate salts are water-soluble. Double salts are often less soluble, and the low solubility of cesium aluminium sulfate is exploited in the purification of seas from its ores. The double salt with antimony, bismuth, cadmium, copper, iron, and lead are also poorly soluble. Cesium hydroxide is hygroscopic and a very strong base. It rapidly etches the surface of semiconductors such as silicon. CSOH has been previously regarded by chemists as the strongest base, reflecting the relatively weak attraction between the large Cs plus ion and I-. It is indeed the strongest Arrhenius base. But a number of compounds that cannot exist in aqueous solution, such as N-butyllithium and sodium amide, are more basic. A stoichiometric mixture of cesium and gold will react to form yellow cesium oride upon heating. The oride anion here behaves as a pseudo-halogen. The compound reacts violently with water, yielding cesium hydroxide, metallic gold, and hydrogen gas. In liquid ammonia, it can be reacted with a cesium-specific ion exchange resin to produce tetramethylammonium oride. The analogous platinum compound, the red cesium platinide, contains the platinide ion that behaves as a pseudo-chalcogen. Complexes like all metal cations, Cs plus forms complexes with Lewis bases in solution. Because of its large size, Cs plus usually adopts coordination numbers greater than 6 coordination, which is typical for the lighter alkali metal cations. This trend is already apparent by the 8 coordination in CSCL versus the halite motif adopted by the other alkali metal chlorides. Its high coordination number and softness are the basis of the separation of Cs plus from other cations, as is practiced in the remediation of nuclear wastes, where 137 Cs plus is separated from large amounts of non radioactive K plus. Halides cesium fluoride is a hygroscopic white solid that is widely used in organofluorine chemistry as a source of the fluoride anion. It is noteworthy as cesium and fluorine have the lowest and highest electronegativities respectively among all the known elements. Cesium chloride crystallizes in the simple cubic crystal system. Also called the cesium chloride structure, this structural motif is composed of a primitive cubic lattice with a two-atom basis, each with an eightfold coordination. The chloride atoms lie upon the lattice points at the edges of the cube, while the cesium atoms lie in the holes in the center of the cubes. This structure is shared with CSBr and CSI, and many other compounds that do not contain Cs. In contrast, most other alkaline halides adopt the sodium chloride structure. The CSCl structure is preferred because Cs plus has an ionic radius of 174 pm and Cl minus 181 pm. Oxides more so than the other alkali metals, cesium forms numerous binary compounds with oxygen. When cesium burns in air, the superoxide CSO2 is the main product. 
the normal cesium oxide forms yellow-orange hexagonal crystals, and is the only oxide of the anti-CdCl2 type. It vaporizes at 250 degrees Celsius, and decomposes to cesium metal and the peroxide Cs2O2 at temperatures above 400 degrees Celsius. Aside from the superoxide and the ozonide CSO3, several brightly colored suboxides have also been studied. These include Cs7O, Cs4O, Cs11O3, Cs3O, CSO, Cs3O2, as well as Cs7O2. The latter may be heated under vacuum to generate Cs2O. Binary compounds with sulfur, selenium, and tellurium also exist. Isotope cesium has a total of 39 known isotopes that range in their mass number from 112 to 151. Several of these are synthesized from lighter elements by the slow neutron capture process inside old stars, as well as inside supernova explosions. However, the only stable cesium isotope is 133 Cs, which has 78 neutrons. Although it has a large nuclear spin, nuclear magnetic resonance studies can be done with this isotope at a resonating frequency of 11.7 MHz. The radioactive 135 Cs has a very long half-life of about 2.3 million years, longest of all radioactive isotopes of cesium. 137 Cs and 134 Cs have half-lives of 30 and 2 years, respectively. 137 Cs decomposes to a short-lived 137 and bar by beta decay, and then to non-radioactive barium, while 134 Cs transforms into 134 bar directly. The isotopes with mass numbers of 129, 131, 132 and 136 have half-lives between a day and two weeks, while most of the other isotopes have half-lives from a few seconds to fractions of a second. There are at least 21 metastable nuclear isomers. Other than 134 MCS, all are very unstable and decay with half-lives of a few minutes or less. The isotope 135 Cs is one of the long-lived fission products of uranium which form in nuclear reactors. However, its fission product yield is reduced in most reactors because its predecessor, 135 Xe, is an extremely potent neutron poison and transmutes frequently to stable 136 Xe before it can decay to 135 Cs. Because of its beta decay, 137 Cs is a strong emitter of gamma radiation. Its half-life makes it the principal medium live fission product along with 90 senior, both are responsible for radioactivity of spent nuclear fuel after several years of cooling up to several hundred years after use. For example, 137 Cs together with 90 Senior currently generate the largest source of radioactivity generated in the area around the Chernobyl disaster. It is not feasible to dispose of 137 Cs through neutron capture and as a result it must be allowed to decay. Almost all cesium produced from nuclear fission comes from beta decay of originally more neutron-rich fission products passing through various isotopes of iodine and of xenon. Because iodine and xenon are volatile and can diffuse through nuclear fuel or air, radioactive cesium is often created far from the original site of fission. With the commencement of nuclear weapons testing around 1945, 137 Cs was released into the atmosphere and then returned to the surface of the Earth as a component of radioactive fallout. The current cesium is a relatively rare element as it is estimated to average approximately 3 parts per million in the Earth's crust. This makes it the 45th most abundant of all elements and the 36th of all the metals. Nevertheless, it is more abundant than such elements as antimony, cadmium, tin and tungsten. Due to its large ionic radius, cesium is one of the incompatible elements. During magma crystallization, cesium is concentrated in the liquid phase and crystallizes last. 
Therefore, the largest deposits of cesium are zone pegmatite or bodies formed by this enrichment process. Because cesium does not substitute for potassium as readily as does rubidium, the alkali evaporite minerals sylvite and carnalite may contain only 0.002% cesium. Consequently, C's is found in few minerals. Percentage amounts of cesium may be found in beryl 6 and Avogadrite BF4. Up to 15 WT% Cs 2O in the closely related mineral Pezartite Al 2 c 6018 up to 8.4 WT% Cs 2O in the rare mineral Londonite Al 4 b 4 128 and less in the more widespread Rhodesite. The only economically important source mineral for cesium is pellucite seas, which is found in a few places around the world in zoned pegmatites, and is associated with the more commercially important lithium minerals lepidolite and petalite. Within the pegmatites, the large grain size and the strong separation of the minerals create high-grade ore for mining. One of the world's most significant and richest sources of the metal is the Tanko mine at Burnick Lake in Manitoba, Canada. The deposits there are estimated to contain 350,000 metric tons of pellucite ore, which represent more than two-thirds of the world's reserve base. Although the stoichiometric content of cesium in pellucite is 42.6%, pure pellucite samples from this deposit contain only about 34% cesium, while the average content is 24WT%. Commercial pellucite contains over 19% cesium. The Bakita pegmatite deposit in Zimbabwe is mined for its petalite, but it also contains a significant amount of pellucite. Notable amounts of pellucite are also mined in the Caribbean Desert, Namibia. At the present rate of world mine production of 5 to 10 metric tons per year, reserves will last for thousands of years. Production The mining of pellucite ore is a selective process and is conducted on a small scale in comparison with most metal mining operations. The ore is crushed, hand-sorted, but not usually concentrated, and then ground. Cesium is then extracted from pellucite mainly by three methods. Acid digestion, alkaline decomposition, and direct reduction. In the acid digestion, the silicate pellucite rock is dissolved with strong acids, such as hydrochloric, sulfuric, hydrobromice, or hydrofluoric acids. With hydrochloric acid, a mixture of soluble chlorides is produced, and the insoluble chloride double salts of cesium are precipitated as cesium antimony chloride, cesium iodine chloride, or cesium hexachlorosorate. After separation, the pure, precipitated double salt is decomposed, and pure CSCl is obtained after evaporating the water. The method using sulfuric acid yields the insoluble double salt directly as cesium alum 212 h 20 The aluminium sulfate in it is converted to the insoluble aluminium oxide by roasting the alum with carbon, and the resulting product is leached with water to yield a cesium 2 so 4 solution. The roasting of pellucite with calcium carbonate and calcium chloride yields insoluble calcium silicates and soluble cesium chloride. Leaching with water or dilute ammonia yields then a dilute chloride solution. This solution can be evaporated to produce cesium chloride or transformed into cesium alum or cesium carbonate. Albeit not commercially feasible, direct reduction of the ore with potassium, sodium or calcium in vacuum can produce cesium metal directly. Most of the mine cesium is directly converted into cesium formate for applications such as oil drilling. To supply the developing market, Cabot Corporation built a production plant in 1997 at the Tanko Mine near Burnick Lake in Manitoba, with a capacity of 12,000 barrels per year of cesium formate solution. The primary smaller scale commercial compounds of cesium are cesium chloride and its nitrate. Alternatively, cesium metal may be obtained from the purified compounds derived from the ore.
cesium chloride, and the other cesium halides, as well, can be reduced at 700 to 800 degrees Celsius with calcium or barium, followed by distillation of the cesium metal. In the same way, the aluminate, carbonate, or hydroxide may be reduced by magnesium. The metal can also be isolated by electrolysis of fused cesium cyanide. Exceptionally pure and gas-free cesium can be made by the thermal decomposition at 390 degrees Celsius of cesium azide CSN3, which is produced from aqueous cesium sulfate and barium azide. In vacuum applications, cesium dichromate can be reacted with zirconium forming pure cesium metal without other gaseous products. Cs2 Cr207 plus 2 Zr2 Cs plus 2 ZRO2 plus Cr203 The price of 99.8% pure cesium in 2009 was about $10 per gram, but its compounds are significantly cheaper.